decent sized nest it extends right up to here queen's unlikely to be down here okay sometimes you get lucky i'm gonna start vacuuming these up the main purpose for vacuuming them is just to um it just allows me to get them out of the way so they don't you know they're not at risk of getting cut as on or squished or whatever But there's sort of two factors, two main factors that determine how quickly they can build. Uh, one of them is how big the swarm was that moved in. Now, you know, a swarm could be anywhere from just a few thousand bees to 50,000 bees. So the other thing that will determine how quickly they build is how much nectar is available and, and also pollen, but nectar allows them to draw comb quicker. So this is sort of a nest that can only expand to a certain size. Yes, so only as big as that now. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, and they're sort of well on their way to filling it up, you know. Yeah. I noticed that the, um, the paper barks are just starting to flower out there and once they get going, they can bring in huge amounts of nectar really quickly. And that would be a trigger for these g girls to want to swarm. Okay. So what they do is they create a new queen. Well, they start to build new queen cells. Mm -hmm. And before that first queen, new queen hatches out, the old queen leaves with half the population. Oh, really? And moves into someone else's wall. <laughs> <laughs> So what we've got in here is up the top here, this is all fresh nectar coming in. It's, it's edible, but none of it's capped off as honey. They'd be having like, today they'd be having a really tough time trying to dry it. Of course, because it's humid. It's so humid. It'll actually take on moisture inside the hive. So it's a bit of a battle for the bees. But all this kind of relatively new. So Look, they haven't been here that long, or they just haven't been No, I mean, you can sort of... So over here, this is all brood comb here. So that's developing bees inside those cells. Oh, wow. How big will the queen be? Her abdomen is half the size, again, of the, of the worker bee. Oh, OK. The queen's quite obvious when, when you see her. Ah, there she is broad daylight. It's like, this is our queen right there moving towards the top. She's got nowhere to run. So it can be a little bit blase about getting in there and grabbing her. Coming up. Oh. Mode. Yeah, well, that's what people think happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they, they don't go into attack mode. Not not here, at least. Not in Australia. Yeah. Okay. And you're not being rough either. Exactly. I mean, uh, being as gentle as possible. Yeah. So it's it's sort of like you kind of can't rush. Yeah. Rushing yeah. doesn't save time on no. this job. So we managed to salvage just about the entire nest which is nice just about everything because there's actually brood scattered throughout the entire nest so I'm going to give them some frames of um, partially drawn comb yeah. with these we put a, a sheet a wax sheet in there in in uh, inside that frame and the bees will naturally draw it out okay. and make make the honeycomb but yeah we've got uh, well we've filled 
almost filled six frames. Almost. Two. So would you call that a, an average? So I'm, I'm sort of estimating that this nest has been here for maybe two months. Sounds about right. Which lines up with, with um, yeah. your time frame, doesn't it? So there's a very fresh bit of comb. So all the, that one there is got brood on that side and it's full yeah. of nectar on that side. That's a really heavy one. We'll put that more to the outside and then that's got the space for the queen to lay. So that these bees will, um, over the next sort of 48 out 24 hours, they'll actually glue all these into the frames They'll with, with wax. Because yeah. um, at the moment these frames are in upside down. Yeah. They normally go in a, a beehive oh, box yeah. like that. Yeah. But because all the weight is generally at the top with the nectar and you want them to attach to the top bar, I've got this upside down box. So I'll leave, it, leave them in here for, yeah, 24, 48 hours and then I'll flip it out and put it into a normal box, the standard box. I mean, and they also, they chew off all those rubber bands. Yeah. And then they drag them out. Some, most of them will then drag them out of the front of the front entrance. So this is the front entrance of yeah. the, the hive down here. Yeah. So you'll either see rubber bands hanging out the bottom, yeah. or they'll um, actually they'll be deposited down on the ground outside the hive. They're, they're remarkably um, and hygienic as well. They, yeah. they don't oh, like foreign material inside the nest so So I found the queen, cut out the whole the whole nest, it's been quite successful.